welcome to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. The question on our mind today will be, what kind of composting method is best for me? There are many different ways and techniques that are used to compost at home, but with so much information out there you may be confused or not sure where to start when building your very own composting bin. Or maybe you're looking to buy one, but aren't sure which kind you should buy. I'm going to simplify this video into three easy choices. Believe it or not, just these three kinds of compost will cover almost anybody. From the small single bed gardener to the large scale gardener who would need the most compost. First off will be one of the best and simplest way for the small guys. This will be the kitchen compost bin. Typically, the size of a kitchen compost container will be in range from 1 to 5 gallons. If you'd like to make your own, all you have to do is take a small pail or bucket that has a lid on it and throw in all your fruits and vegetables whenever they're available. Typically, compost does best when aeration is available, but in this case, we'll want to make sure it's covered so your kitchen doesn't begin to smell. Now, because such little waste is going to be produced in this small scale production, we are able to use a small pail, and by the time it fills up, your compost should nearly be ready for the garden. There are also many very convenient products and machines that you can buy, which will automatically compost your fruits and vegetables for you. This offers a simple, carefree way to complete your small scale composting needs. So if you tried out this first one and you're beginning to fill your compost container too quickly and your fruits and vegetables just are not breaking down in time, you can either throw your compost outside and mix it in with a container of dirt to allow it to break down even more, or you can move on to the second option that we'll be looking at today. And this will be a tumbler. This option will be for those who are beginning to get used to composting and are ready for the next level of production. Or you may also go through too many fruits and vegetable scraps for the small scale kitchen compost bin like we just said. And you might need something that's a little bit larger. A tumbler will do that for you. So you can make your own using either a rain barrel or a larger bucket if you have one. And you basically want to put that barrel sideways, prop it up off the ground, and create a way to turn it. Uh, you create a door and then a few holes all throughout the bucket or barrel as well to enable this to be aerated. And if you would like, you can also separate this into two halves. The two halves will be one side that is brand new fresh scraps, and the second side will be the more decomposed side that is nearly ready to be put into your garden. Two sides are great to have because it allows you to have rotation and a constant spread of compost on your garden. If you are making one, I would absolutely recommend to do it the right way right away the first time and do it with a rain barrel. Absolutely, this will allow you to have a lot of volume and will allow you to keep your production up to what your needs really are. And if you don't want to make one, there are so many different companies out there that produce tumbler compost bins. Now moving on to our third option will be the crate compost option. Now this is for your more larger scale gardener and you need a lot of compost and you go through a lot of fruits and vegetable scraps as well. So at this point you might have already tried the kitchen compost bin, then you moved on to the tumbler and you've realized that you have just too much scraps. You have too many pieces and you're filling up your tumbler like crazy and it cannot break down at the rate that you need. This is going to be the next thing that you can do. It's nice and simple. This is a layering technique. All you do is take a couple of crates and create two bins however you would like and one bin is going to be the newer, fresher scraps. Just like we determined previously, you want to be able to rotate your scraps in order to be the most efficient. So the one side is going to be for new scraps and the second side is going to be for scraps that are a few weeks to a few months old. 
depending on where you live and how fast those scraps are breaking down. Now with this technique, all you do is every time you place in the scraps into the compost bin, you're going to want to take a pitchfork or shovel or whatever you're using and mix it up with the compost that's sitting there. So you don't want to just put your fresh scraps on top, you want to mix it in every time and from there you'll be good. Guys, the best thing about composting is that it's really simple, easy to do, and it will help out your garden infinitely your plants will be so much better so much healthier and you will have a greater yield because of this compost well guys that is it for this very simple explanation of a couple compost bins and compost techniques i will go further in depth in the future uh, with different ways you can use each of these compost techniques and different ways you can use each of these bins and some do's and don'ts but for now this is just three most commonly used bins for composting. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you. Be well.